All right, hello everyone. This is going to be another um, police results video. I'll just show you the uh, boxes that I got. This is what I typically do, one blue and four green. Uh, as you know, I'm saving up my purples for when active mods come out. So I got the muzzle brake rare on this one, and uh, I'll be using that one. Uh, the, um, the Winchester is kind of a crappy gun from what I can tell. I mean, we'll see what happens when the active mods come out. But as a result of saving my purples up, I now have this crappy gun mo mods that are, are coming up and, and it seems to be heavily favoring them. Like here's another one, improved stock. Um, don't need that. And here's another one, vintage barrel. So I would be very, very upset if I used all my purple mods right now and I got like a ton of purple Winchester mods. I mean, that would be awful. So who knows what will happen though by the time the uh, the active mods come out there could be two more guns uh, that come out the uh, I forgot what it was called the M2 uh, I forgot some bigger machine guns coming out and uh, You know, I might get those too, but right now if I were using my purple mods, I'd be pretty disappointed um, so I'm just going to grab some of this armor out of here and finish loading up and I'll, I'll go ahead and do the police run. Okay, so here we are and this is what I brought with me. I'm going to use one uh, grenade launcher for this run, assuming I don't screw it up before I get to that point. And uh, I brought this much armor and weapons. Obviously some of this armor came from opening up my chest. So I'll make a little room here. These cards I already have here. I'll try to keep them separate, but that's just, uh, I brought 57 um, brown cards from my base just to kind of trade them in. So ignore those. Uh, in fact, I'll go put those somewhere where they won't get mixed up at all, but uh, one second. Okay, that's better. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, begin this thing. And I'm going to see you guys uh, after level 9. Okay, so level 9, and so far so crappy. I got 8, so let's see what the next set gives me. Alright, level 19. Still not looking good. Let's keep at it. Okay, level 29, and looking a little better, but still overall not very good at all compared to last time. So let's, uh, I'm going to switch over to the grenade launcher here pretty soon, and then just see where I can do. All right. Okay, so I had somebody asking me about how you uh, use the grenade launcher, so I'm just going to do a couple demonstrations and see how it goes. Hopefully I don't blow myself up. And that's pretty much it. Um, oops. Basically, you just have to charge them, and at just the right moment, you. Sorry, I got the TV on in the background. Um, you charge, and at just the right moment, you have to uh, fire, and then you immediately heal after you take the damage. Uh, I died the last time because um, I died the last time because of uh, there were no um, exploders. There was nothing but the fat guys, and by the time I had fired, because it was everything was wrong without them, they all hit me at the same time and it killed me. So I wasn't prepared for the timing of that. So it's a little different if there's no runners, if there's no fast runners. Um, all right, I'll do another one. Put my grenade launcher on here. And uh, use that real quick. Fully healed. Okay. And you blow through your armor pretty fast too, so keep an eye on it. Oops, uh, I switched the wrong gun. Put your speed on. Get off! 
That could have been bad. Uh, this is why I need a third pocket. Bucks. There is also a glitch right there. I've never really mentioned this before, but when you're running around here, sometimes you lose control of your guy and he like runs and kind of something, you can even get stuck there. So it, it only happens right here when you're running around this way. That far at least that I've discovered. So I'm always really careful when I'm running around this side, there's an exploder. I try not to explode here I'll like wait until I get down to here before I explode them because otherwise I'll get stuck up there when it glitches out on me uh, I'll just do one more and this time hopefully I get my gun in my hand a little better than that that was pretty awful okay ready that's better that's what it's supposed to look like Okay. I'm actually a little low on melee. I find the uh, police station to be just absolutely mind-numbingly boring. So repetitive. And you have to be completely focused on it. I mean, you can't... There's no auto, autoing your way through this, this event here. And... Okay. So I won't bore you with... Just to see you when I get up to 40. All right. Okay, we're back at 39, and... Once again, now this is kind of more of my standard results, and I'll talk about that at the end, but not very, not very good at all. I was pretty much at a purple card right around here last time, so uh, let's see how much farther we can go. Okay, level 49, and kind of more of the same. Um, so I've got just a tiny bit left. I'm going to do the next level, and that's going to be it, so one second. Okay, so I managed to do two more levels, and I just got more browns. So I'm hoping for another miracle blue there at the end, but let's just take this and cash it in real quick. Surrender. Uh, I believe 51 is the farthest I've ever gotten on this. I mean, I could do the 99 if I wanted to blow through several grenade launchers, but I just never seem to want to do that. Um, let's get rid of this. Okay. So, almost a purple, not quite. Definitely my luck was not as good this time around, and uh, I mean, I definitely, I lost some dogs with a bloodhound. One of them was actually an act inherit traits, so my bloodhound skill for what it was it was like 15 percent now i'm like around eight or something so that could definitely account for why i didn't do as good as last time um but yeah that's that's it so uh, i'll go have that to my storm day hopefully i'll be able to get to use these soon all right bye-bye